after two years of growth, this field of miscanthus near Haven, Kansas is now ready to be harvested. Quickly you can see the high mass and thick volume of the crop that can produce baled tonnage above 10 tons per acre with low moisture readings. Miscanthus is typically planted in early spring before most row crops like corn and soybeans are planted. The winter after its second growing season, the miscanthus will be ready for harvest. This harvest will typically take place from December to early March whenever field conditions warrant. Both the initial planting and the subsequent annual harvest complement the existing crop cycle on most farming operations today. The bulk of the harvest uses equipment that is standard for a large hay or forage operation. Agco has developed a special cutting head for their swather that develops lush windrows which are immediately ready for baling. Although the crop is tall and thick, the available technology from Agco can cut the miscanthus fast and efficiently. In fact, this two-year-old field was cut at a nine acre per hour pace. In no time at all, you are set up to bale up the windrows. As the baler goes to work, you can see the sheer mass of the yield that is baled up. At a pace of two acres per hour, the baler produces 28 1,400 pound bales every hour. That's 20 tons per hour. As harvesting continues, driving over the cane stubble will not cause any additional wear and tear on your equipment's tires. Like with any crop that is baled, moisture readings are important. Although some additional mass is lost by allowing the crop to remain in the field until late winter, the resulting baled biomass has a very low moisture reading right out of the field. There's the temperature, and there's the moisture. You can see that this miscanthus has a moisture reading of 14.5 just seconds after it is baled. Most biomass conversion facilities, including those owned and operated by Aloterra and MFA Oil Biomass, require that biomass be delivered with a moisture content below 18%. Due partly to its perennial nature, miscanthus needs less fertilizer than traditional row crops. The first freeze causes the miscanthus plant to pull the nutrients up from the cane and leaves into its root system. This process makes miscanthus very efficient at processing nitrogen. Additionally, carbon is sequestered in the soil through the process. Some studies have placed the amount of carbon sequestered between 0.16 and 0.26 tons per acre. There you have it. The available ease and efficiency to harvest miscanthus is here and now. Be a part of this growing bioenergy trend by doing what you already know how and are equipped to do. The need for alternative energy sources is growing. Where do you want to stake your future? The future of our country is once again in your hands. Together, we can make a difference. <laughs>